dudes? Happy Friday. Welcome to the DIY Designer. I'm Orly Shani. Today, <laughs> it's solid. Today we are making a no-sew sequin kimono. This bad boy is going to be perfect for Coachella if you are going. I'm not a Coachella person, but like if you are, it's perfect for Coachella. It's just great for spring. It's so cool. Um, these are all the sequin kimonos that I originally saw that I was super inspired by. I love it because something about it is like that old like 1960s glam oh i mean i just think it's so fab and so cool whether you're wearing with jeans and a tee or you belt it like a dress it's badass now so sequin kimono i'm very sexy i'm freaking out i got my first sponsor and it happens to be the product that i have been using anyway the product that i'm obsessed with that i always recommend and tell you you have to get because it's so great and if you've guessed that it is Fabri-Tac, fabric glue, you are right. It's used by the garment industry and that's originally how they developed it was for a solution for the garment industry. And the reason it's really great is that it goes on clear and it dries clear. But the more important thing is that it is water resistant, which means it's machine washable and it stays flexible. So when you're using it in seams, the entire garment is still gonna move and breathe the way that it should, but you can machine wash it. So it's a really great no sew solution. I'm just so thrilled that not only do I get to work and collaborate with a company whose products I already stand by and I already love, but the fact that it's family run, I've met these people, they're amazing, and they keep all their production in the US and you know they could have taken it elsewhere and they kept it here. So anyway, I'm just really excited. It allows me to continue to uh, produce this show and provide it for free, which is really important and something I really wanna do. And so the fact that we got to partner up, um, I'm just really excited. And I wanna thank you guys for all watching the channel because it's the viewers and the engagement and the comments and the fact that everyone is so invested in this channel that really put me in a position where I was able to get a sponsor. So uh, thank you to you guys and let's do this fantastic no so sequin kimono because it's better. So first things first, you want to fold your fabric face to face, so sequins to sequins. And by folding it this way, it's going to require a lot less sewing, and you'll see why in just a minute. Make sure to take some time to line up all your sequins. Ignore the selvage edge of your fabric because we're going to cut that off anyway. Just focus on making sure your sequins are as even as possible. Next, measure your top and find your center point. Once you find the center, take a t-shirt or anything that has a simple neckline and use the back to cut out a slightly rounded edge. That's our neckline. Now, find the center of the bottom as well and you're just gonna connect those lines. I'm using my measuring tape just as a straight line guide so that I can cut evenly right up the center and you can see my back is closed and my front is open. Now I do two measurements on my sleeve. The first one is gonna be my sleeve width, which I would recommend anywhere between 12 and 14 inches. The next one is my sleeve length. Same measurement will work here. Now I'm just going to cut connecting those pins that I gave myself. And you'll see when I remove the fabric, it basically creates like an upside down L shape. Take that one side and fold it over in half. Make sure that you're perfectly even, line up the edges of your sleeves, and then use it as a guide to cut the second side so that you're perfectly symmetrical. You'll see when we open it up, we basically have right there an inside out kimono. Now comes the Fabri-Tac. This fabric glue is gonna be amazing for this project. So think of it like you would a sewing machine and you wanna give yourself an even seam allowance. So I applied my glue just about a quarter of an inch inside of my sequence and now I'm really pressing it down making sure that the glue gets into not only the sequins, but the nylon backing that the sequins are sewn onto. Next, move on to your sleeve, lay it down gently and squeeze. So now we've got our side seam and our sleeve fully sewn up and it's time to move to that neckline. Now, because I cut it in kind of a curve, you wanna fold this part back. It will feel natural. You'll find the natural place of how far you fold it back when you're actually doing it. So just apply glue to the outer edge, fold until it creates a nice even neckline. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but for now, I'm gonna let this dry and move on to this fabric. So what you can see about this fabric is that it's a repeated pattern, meaning it's not mirrored. So I go from black to green in the middle, which is gonna look weird when I'm actually wearing my kimono. I want the same color on the right and left side of my kimono. So I'm gonna just cut this fabric right up the center simply so that I can flip it and mirror it. This has a cool scalloped edge, but it was only on one side. So I trimmed off that along with all my selvage. 
Okay, so now you can see I have two halves and there we go. I've got my green in the center, which is gonna make much more sense when I'm wearing it as an actual kimono. I'm taking time to pin all of this because this has a pattern. You don't want anything to move on you because you'll actually notice it. So I cut out my neckline and now I'm repeating everything I've already done. I mark down from my shoulder 12 inches. I mark in from my side 12 inches and those are my two sleeve lengths. Now, because this kimono was a lot longer, I also measured 12 inches in all the way down so that I had more of an even guide. I didn't want to eyeball this one. So you can see though, again, you just connect those two lines, fold your fabric over, really make sure to line up the colors because again, this is actually a pattern. So you want things to line up right. Use it as a guide and cut. So what I am actually seeing up right now is the back. Because I cut the fabric up the center, my back is wide open. So I'm seaming it up and you can see, there we go, I have a back seam done with the fabric loop. So now lay your fabric back together and this kind of brings us back to where we were. You're just using your fabric glue to seam up your sides and there is the fold over that we're doing on that neckline as well. Just the same as we did on the other one. Hello. We're done. We're totally done. Um, I'm gonna let this dry. You wanna let Fabri-Tac cure for real life wear for 24 hours. In like trying it on and see if it works, I'd say an hour is totally fine. So I'm gonna give this an hour or so. This is gonna be a fabulous no-so sequin kimono. Wow. Yeah, it's, it deserved it. It's like that, huh? It is exactly like that. Wow. I think I might've pulled a muscle though. <laughs>